Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and I'm here in my kitchen today to show you some cabinet organization. First things first, be sure to stop by the blog. I'll leave a link below and grab my five steps to an organized kitchen mini guide. It's kind of like an ebook that shows you the process that I went through from start to finish to get this kitchen back in order. I was inspired recently by a friend of mine, Cami from the blog Tidbits. So I will link her blog in the description below and her channel to do some reorganizing here in my kitchen cabinets. So she did a post where she organized all of her baking supplies all nicely lined up in shelves on her in her cabinets and it just looks so good that I was like, I have to do that. I first tackled the spice cabinet, which I showed you last week. And today I want to show you what I did with the rest of the cabinets. I started this process by first removing everything from my cabinets. I wanted to make sure to go in all of them so that way I could rethink the layout. After I got everything out, I started going through things to see what I'd held on to that we really hadn't used in the last couple of years. So I got rid of some plates and some mugs. who lived here before painted the cabinets blue on the insides and I never really got around to repainting the blue because you know it's always behind closed doors so who has time for that but I figured since they were empty this would be a good time to get them cleaned up and painted white so I used the same white chalk paint that I used in my spice cabinet organization video I'll link it below but I love it because it goes right over surfaces without any prep work Did the same process on the other side, just took everything out, and I'm pretty embarrassed about my lack of organization. But you know, when you get home from the grocery store, things just get put away, and we don't have a pantry. And then I had to think about what kind of containers I was going to put the food in to make it kind of look really nice and stored very pretty to where I could see what I have. First was thinking maybe some wet jars or some swing top jars. I looked on Amazon for way too long, and I seriously came full circle all the way back around to my beloved mason jars. I like the mason jars because you can get them in so many different sizes. I also snagged up some of the wide mouth plastic lids because that way I don't have to worry about any rust issues for long term storage when you use the metal. The other lids are in two pieces. The one piece plastic lids are just a lot more simple to use. I also picked up this expandable shelf. Again, I'll link it below. It was from Amazon to be able to store the pint and half pint size jars. I use the top shelf for the kind of things that wouldn't go in jars like my husband likes to eat sardines and canned salmon and condiments and I decided to put the supplements up there as well as peanut butter, pumpkin, all that kind of stuff when I find it on sale that I grab, coconut milk, pasta sauce, that kind of stuff. I tried to organize it by type so I put condiments to the left and I put tomato products to the right as well as supplements. Then I used the Sharpie paint pen, the same one I used in my spice cabinet organization post to label all of my charts. This is nice because I can switch out the labels if I need to move things around by just wiping it off, maybe with something a little bit abrasive to get the paint off, but it's much easier than removing printable labels. I decided to put all of my storage containers and plates and bowls in the cabinet that is closer to the dining room. Just makes a lot more sense. also kept a tea set that we picked up at a thrift shop because my daughters like to play tea and then I just started putting everything back up I put all the food in the two cabinets closest to the stove the layout just makes a lot more sense I even tried to group together smoothie add-ins like 
chia maca, acai, etc. and bake goods together. I do want to mention in one of my upper cabinets I have a little extra flour and oatmeal and a few things that didn't fit into the jars that I will just use to restock. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I have inspired you to tackle some organization in your kitchen. I plan to move next onto my laundry room, so stay tuned for that. I'm kind of thinking through what I'm gonna do to make it more functional and beautiful. If you are new here and you enjoyed this video and would like to see more food from scratch, natural living, and our handmade home, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.